My teammate and I in 2004 went, played on the Long Island team, got some background, got really excited, you know, learned a lot about it, came back and told our team and brought them every year since 2005. And just one of our, our captain, the other captain brought up a couple years ago, could we have it here? And I thought, oh no, it'll never happen. But we just had our community behind us so much and it all has come together. Don Miller came out to two past World Series to scope it out and just have it happening. One, we don't have to travel, it's so nice. A lot of people around here haven't even been able to come see us, so they'll be able to see us and just to have our home team and our home field and have everybody here behind us is so great. I know this is one of the high points of my life, but besides you know, the physical, the exercise, you get to be out, you get to be with your peers, you get the camaraderie of a team, you get to constantly challenge yourself, and you're just always improving in this game. And it's one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. I never got to run since I was maybe fourth, fifth grade. It was the last time I had enough vision to try running anywhere. Now we have a sport where we can run again, full contact, we can hit the ground, and so it's just incredible. It's the best blind sport there is, in my opinion. Um, I haven't been blind my whole life. Uh, I have glaucoma, and I found out 16 years ago. Um, just thought it was a simple glass check, you know, just to go for glasses. Turned out I had advanced glaucoma, and it's it's just progressed since then. And this is this is a good way to get it out, you know, get to run around and you know exercise. It's been a long time since I ran, you know. It feels good to just run. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm pumped up about it. I hope we do well. Um, I've never played against a blind team, so my first experience with that, so I'm, I'm really excited. And it went through its growing pains, but it became a, a game that's now played at a very high level with, a, with balls and with equipment that lasts, and it's it kind of helps me, it kind of bridges the gap between the sighted and the blind, at least in area of sports, which can help bridge the gap in other areas as well. And not only does it help, I think, the sighted athletes relate to blind athletes, I think it helps me relate to, to what they go through too. So, so, I, so I understand the, the practice and the training and, the, and just the playing and the, and the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat, you know, just like, just like sighted individuals. The fielding isn't bad. It's kind of scary at times because you don't know if you're going to run into somebody. And the running, the running is fun because you get to tackle a base. It was scary at first, though, because we didn't know exactly which direction we were supposed to run. But once everybody started figuring out, try to go in a straight line in these certain directions, it got easy. To me, because I'm playing the short, I'm playing the shallow area, it's like as soon as the ball is hit, I have to get my reaction in time. No, my reaction and my tracking on which direction the ball is going. And whether it's a fly ball or if it's just rolling really fast or really slow on the ground. Too much to think about, so I try to clear my head and just find the thing that's beeping. <laughs> I felt vulnerable. You know, you just you're completely, completely different than, than, than playing a game of baseball. I, I was talking to somebody, I said, hey, it's, it's easier. I, I would like my chance of hitting Randy Johnson than, than hitting the beat ball. No, it's amazing. It's the, the things they can do, and I think it goes to show that you know. I mean, if you put your mind to something, and, and, and you're you know, they're dealt with the fact that they're they're blind, and they deal with it, and they get good at whatever they decide they're going to get good at. And this is something they want to get good at, and they put their mind to it, and now they're out here having a good time, and I think it's a great thing for them. I think it's a lot of being able to trust and trusting your ears and that's something that you definitely probably learn with more time and that's the challenging part it, and when I'm swinging I'm just trying to trust the pitcher that they're pitching it where my bat is and then you kind of just got to trust your senses to be able to run and that's the tough part I think. Well my first thought is that, that playing softball prior in your life isn't really an advantage because I play I mean I played somewhat competitive ball from when I was 13 to about 25 but I, yeah I had nothing and you didn't even know I didn't even know kind of what stance to take like a, because you lose the whole scent sense of sight which is an incredible part of playing ball I think it's an incredible opportunity for Stockton and also to highlight this sport because I a lot of people don't even know about it so it's I think it's an incredible opportunity to be able to, to highlight it and to be able to, to for people to see that you know people can have face challenges or, or, or lose something or not have something that we take for granted, but still be able to, to participate in the, in the great American pastime of baseball. So, I mean, I think it's great that Stockton's going to be able to host the, the World Series here. Hey, where's the hitter? Where's the female hitter? Where's